What's going on everybody? Welcome back, it's Marquis Urban, the vegan new. Today, we're gonna to talk about the dangers of dairy. Yes, dairy is dangerous. And I know I got a bunch of dairy lovers out there, so I want y'all to pay special attention today. Let's get started, here we go. So first of all, what is dairy? So dairy or dairy products are products made from animals' milk, and particularly mammals like cows, sheep, goats, camels, and other mammals as well. Some examples of dairy products are stuff like butter, yogurt, milk, sour cream, uh, ice cream, whey. Those are uh, products made from cow's milk or mammal's milk. So, here's where stuff gets weird. Human beings are the only animals to consume milk from another species. Cow's milk is baby cow growth hormone fluid. It's designed for baby cows to grow as fast as possible, as strong as possible, and as healthy as possible. So it's packed with a bunch of nutrients designed for baby cows. Same with that, a mother's breast milk is designed for her child, her baby, to nourish the baby, to allow it to grow as fast as possible, and as strong as healthy as possible. The same for cow's milk. There is no need for us to consume cow's milk or dairy for calcium. There are many plant-based options and alternatives that offer calcium and all the type of calcium that you would need for your body without having to consume dairy. Allergies, insulin-dependent diabetes, endocrine thyroid issues, as well as digestive problems can all come from and can be attributed to cow's milk or consuming dairy. There are many other healthy alternatives to dairy. Almond milk, coconut milk, rice milk, they have alternatives for yogurt, alternatives for ice cream as well, alternatives for a bunch of different pastries. There are many different options other than dairy. You just have to be willing to explore and open your mind outside of dairy. So here's when dairy begins to get dangerous. Aluminum, yes, aluminum like the actual metal aluminum is legally allowed in the production of most labeled American cheeses. Apparently they say it helped the cheese taste creamier, but that's nasty. And aluminum also correlates with many chronic conditions such as Alzheimer's and autism. Is aluminum really worth it? Another danger of dairy is lactose. Lactose is a special sugar that is produced and made from and come from cow's milk. It's difficult for the body to digest. So a lot of times when we consume dairy, a result of that is nausea, bloating, gas, diarrhea, constipation. Many of us are lactose intolerant because you're never meant to consume dairy. It's not meant for us. That's simple. Another danger of cow's milk and dairy is cholesterol. A single serving of cow's milk can contain as much as 24 milligrams of cholesterol. So another danger of dairy, and this is what actually makes the dairy and the meat industry incredibly dangerous to deal with, is the use of antibiotics. These cows and other dairy animals as well are shoved into these small close corners, pumped up with steroids, growth hormones, and antibiotics to defend them from the, the, the dirty and bacteria and disease filled close corners that they're living in. And what these antibiotics do, they circulate through the cow's bloodstream and they are secreted through the cow's milk cow's breast milk, the mammal milk, and it's consumed by us, human beings as well. And we're consuming bacteria that are becoming resistant to these antibiotics that are initially meant for humans, but are being used in the cow, meat, and dairy industry to keep the cows as healthy as possible. But nonetheless, the cows are still dying because they're in these disease-ridden environments in the first place. So outside of consuming antibiotics, like I said, you're consuming growth hormones, steroids, they're injecting these animals, and particularly in this case, cows, with growth hormones so they can grow as fast as possible, as much as possible, so they can make as much money and as much profit as possible. And it compromises your health. It causes an excessive amount of mucus to build up. It causes your cells to behave erratically and grow spontaneously, producing cancers, prostate cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer. All of this increase your chances of developing these diseases and these conditions when you consume dairy, especially consistently and daily. So, we covered a lot today, but like I said, there are many alternatives to dairy. They have dairy-free yogurt, they have dairy-free ice cream, dairy-free pastries as well, coconut milk, almond milk, rice milk, hemp milk, cashew milk, uh, all, it's just all different types of stuff. You have to expand your mind and your horizon and be open to willing to try new things that are healthier, better for yourself and the environment. At the same time, I'm Marquis Irvin, the vegan new. I appreciate 
everybody for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing while you're playing games, but press that button below. Subscribe. I'm Marquis Urban, the vegan dude. I'm out.